Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. So, we... Get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. ...have got to get this finished up. And this is actually going to take... Commencing shutdown. Yeah, I'm going to die. Time Uh, to tell you the truth, that one is probably the hardest one. Which is why I usually save that one for last. Problem is, I'm taking damage as I do this, so. So we're filled up on that. when he does that. It's the dogs you gotta watch out for on this one. One less. We've got There's hostiles on the flank. bridge, but we're holding. The dogs flank you. That one hit. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Sure thing. And of course, we'll take it back as soon as we get here. Incoming. Get ready for close combat. No shields. <laughs>
unfortunately, my assault rifle to the face is better than his shotgun. I think we might still have some more left around somewhere. No, okay. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Derek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on and... Heads up! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already! I fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. Uh -oh. uh -oh. See, this is where the heavy weapons came over. It would really come handy, but I've only got 30%. This thing only that thing only fires at 100 percent that one. And it maxes out at 200 percent So I'm sure you can do the math. I got two shots. The repelling down the sidewall. Ground floor. He's right there. Actually, the combat drone does really good against the as well. They've reached the rear stairs. Yeah. Just because they reached them doesn't mean they'll get up with them. chance to repair this thing fully. Mind you, it's not going to be that easy the first time you play through it. I mean, I've got damage bonuses that I normally wouldn't have. If you guys are wondering what this list shows, it's just pretty much all the stuff that I picked up during the mission. Commander, 
We've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are crooked. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. That, in my opinion, is the definition of a true friend. Not only willing to walk into hell with you, but tell you, you know, you do mean, you do realize that I'm walking into hell with you under, you know, this little plan of yours. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Mm. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. So, unread messages. I have obviously read all of these. And this is the guy that I kept from signing up. So I'm going to go talk to Joker. Then talk to Garrus and then we'll head back down to Omega. I've got a mission to turn in and then we'll start Morton's. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. You don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. That's it for now. See you, Commander. For those of you who uh, don't get the reference, um, a lot of, like, games... Especially stuff like adventure games have a um, system where uh, Telltales, a lot of Telltale games do it as well. So like, like The Wolf Among Us and uh, other games of the sort, they have a little system where if you do something, the character, you know, you'll see a little message that says so-and-so will remember this. That's the reference that Joker was making. How may I help you, Commander? Okay, she's I'll got see nothing you later, to do. Doctor. Commander. Thing is, why is 
I oh I gotta have Morton. Uh, dang it. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Hmm... How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. That was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in, someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. See, the thing is, if you listen to what he's saying, it's, you know, they weren't thugs. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Mm. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. It's those green eyes, dude. Seriously. Ugh. So, I'm trying to remember. I know what's down here. By here, I mean Omega. You guys have seen this video before. the reason why I brought Garrus along. So I need to drop a data Come on, pad. Let me in. Ari's expecting me. Oh, Off to Ari, huh? Aria has work for it. 
I am. Give me a second. Oh yeah. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. I keep forgetting about Grace. For you. If you're interested. Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle nut up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. What's the Blood Pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. I guess eh, I got time. So I want to think is I want to do Morton's mission all at once, not like I did Garrus's. Drinks poison. Shepard, are you all right? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you, that's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. <laughs> yeah, I actually did do that on purpose, believe it or not. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying, the strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this.
tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. <sighs> Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's fox get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Let me see if I can get through from here. Now, I do want to talk to this guy, but I need to wait until later. I don't need to wait until later. I just want to wait till later. The reason I'm going this way is because I, I honestly can't remember where the other way is. I will take care of Patriarch's mission even if I go over on time a little bit. These people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers. Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Not taking any chances. Mm hmm. See? Easy. No. You said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well. And was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. She killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts, 
If I served as her advisor, I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command, not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could... You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Find the thugs. I wonder where they could be. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. You're Patriarch's crant. I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. Easy. Which door is this one? I can never remember where this one is. Yet. Ah, okay. I know where it is now. It was that door down. You killed them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. <laughs> I did it for the conversations. And now, as you can see, there's a new bartender. All is right with the world. to speak with you, human. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassins yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny I didn't know he had a Krant. I guess you're working on old information. Hmm. Well, no one would dare cross him with such a powerful Krant standing up for him. It's not what I asked. But you got the job done. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. We can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look like you need to loosen up a little. So, that's it. I am done for the day. We'll let the music take us out into that, guys, I'm gonna say. Sayonara.